All right, we're going uh, honker hunting today, boys. I'm out here with a couple buddies. Uh, we got Mike behind the camera here. I'm also here with uh, Reserved Outdoors. You guys, I'll put their Instagram down in my description below. So we've got some geese down there uh, just by the riverbed and they're going out that way and they're gonna try to flush them out our way here. So me and Peter are the first two shooters up. So we're just here and uh, we'll wait for them to flush out these geese. And we'll, I think, where are we shooting? This way? They're flushing out this way, right? No, I think this is west, I think. Northwest. Northwest, yeah. This year, Manitoba's Conservation Department has declared an overpopulation of Canada geese. And in response to that, they have offered, for the very first time ever, a conservation spring goose hunting season to help manage that population. Hunters have about a one month window in March to get their honker fix in. And today, Peter and I are out on our very first goose hunt with the help of a couple of more experienced buddies, Mike and Corey, hoping to bag our first ever honker. As we pulled into the area where we wanted to get set up, we spot a small group of geese a little ways up river. So being the first two shooters up, Peter and I decide to position ourselves a little bit downriver from those geese as a couple of the other guys head upriver to try and flush them down our direction. We get into position and then we wait and then hopefully fingers crossed that when the other guys do flush them out they fly over into our direction where we're set up it didn't take too long and actually the whole thing happened a lot faster than i was expecting and i kind of got caught a little off guard I guess I missed all four of my shots, eh? Yep, on my very first goose hunt we gotta go with a perfect opportunity right and I blew it. I guess I let the excitement get to me a little. Hey, hey, However, I'm go. happy that my buddy Peter ended up getting his first you goose. You said that's your, that's your first goose? Yeah. Now I just oh, gotta wow. hope that that nice. isn't the only opportunity left for me today. Smoked on them. And that there's more to come. Great shot. Hey, oh, that's a good size, look at that. That is a good one. Now I just got to get my first goose too. All right, so we're getting set up here now. We're going to just sit down here and uh, place some decoys already in the on, in the water there. And we're just going to make some calls and wait down here. Earlier, we sort of just landed on them as we were coming into the spot. So chase them around for a little bit. But now we're going to sit down and get set up, throw the decoys out and make some calls. So I can't shoot ducks. All I, all I can shoot is uh, geese. But uh, these guys over here can shoot ducks as well. So they got a couple nice ducks. I called. Their, I think they're called uh, common, common, common golden eyes or something like that. We looked them up. What kind of ducks they were. And uh, Peter's got uh, his first goose there as well. So now it's just my turn to get my first goose. All right, so here's our setup now. We're probably gonna sit here for the next couple hours or so. Uh, we've got all the decoys already in the water. Um, so, so far, Peter's got one goose and uh, Corey got two ducks earlier. And that's when we were just uh, rolling into the spot. Uh, we haven't even gotten setting up yet. Um, literally just rolled in, seen those uh, seen those geese and, and those ducks in, in there and then uh, decided to just take them there. So we took them right there and then, and uh, 
yeah, so we chased him around for a little bit, and we finally got set up in this spot here now. Um, just turning into, I think, around 4 o'clock right now, so we're probably going to just sit here at this stand for the next couple hours and see if we can call, call in a flock of geese and uh, get some action. I haven't gotten one yet, so I still need to get mine. But uh, yeah, afterwards I think we're going to head back to the house and cook them up, so... <laughs> yeah, you can't think holding a shot. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah, we got, we got Mikey over here chewing on some bark. Just another just another day in the bush, eh? Yes, sir. <laughs> yeah, he knows all the medicine, bro. We got uh, Corey over here from Reserved Outdoors. Check oh, him out on Instagram. Instagram, Reserved Outdoors. I'll put his uh, handle down below. Yeah, I gotta get one, man. I need one. Yeah. We sit the stand for a couple hours. Unfortunately, we didn't have much luck calling very many geese in. The couple that we were able to call in came in, but they mm -hmm. were a little too far to be able to take an effective shot. It's too far? They angled, as soon as they angled out, I was like, ah, oh, yeah. might as well try. Oh well, they're too far. Oh, man. Getting close to the end of the day, we yeah. decide to pack her up and leave the stand. But just as we were leaving the stand, well, we spot a small flock of geese coming in. I nipped them though. Oh man, I nipped them, but it didn't go down. Shoot. I, I saw the feathers go poof on that shot too. I finally got what I thought was a good shot on a goose, but it ended up being a hunter's worst nightmare, a non-lethal hit. We tried keeping eyes on him to see if he'd go down eventually, but he didn't. And at the end of the day, I was still left without a honker. However, it was still a great day to be out and at least Peter was able to get his first goose. Now, to get these birds prepped for the table. And as for me, well, I'll just have to wait till my next shot during the fall goose season.